What's up, guys? MTG Jedi here. Pretty exhausted and sunburnt all over the place. Um, so I'm going to take some time and rest. Hopefully, we'll still be streaming later, later today. So come on out for some shard pulls. I'm going to try to stream even if it's just for a little bit. But man, I got crazy burnt in the pool yesterday. For today, we're talking about the Summon Rush, we're pulling shards, and of course, we are going to be trying to get my lady uh, that I have been waiting for for a very long time. So, uh, Manaya, she's not the best. She could use a huge buff, but it is a champion that I've always wanted on my account. As you can see, this is not a crazy go deep uh you know shard pull video uh if you want more shard pull action you're gonna have to come out to the live stream but we are gonna pull 10 ancients and four sacreds and then i off camera i'm gonna use mystery shards here to do the champion training as well as finish that off um i would say this is kind of like the minimum that you need in order to hit the point thresholds we really need to get to 30 200 points okay 3200 um i would not be skipping any of these okay and then if you're wailing out or whatnot you get all kinds of books and uh you know great rewards down here uh, but for me i'm just trying to be efficient i'm trying to get the fusion we need to get to 3200 points now for you guys not me <laughs> I would probably be putting Duchess in here, and I think it's pretty hilarious that I'm going to put Hamania in instead of Duchess. Um, if you have Duchess, like maybe you really want Brogni to go with your Wixwell, you want Eva for some other Hydra action. I do like Kaja, she's good, but I would say she's not as good as these other champions. So, I'm going to go ahead and put these in now so that I don't forget and we're gonna go ahead and pull those okay now if you have been uh, following my fusion guide from yesterday then you know that the dungeon divers started today and that's today is the day you should start your champion training and your ice golem tournament preferably the ice golem tournament today and the champ training tournament tomorrow if you're you're you know hold up on energy I really just want to run more Sand Devil, but I, you know, I need the points for um, for the fusion. So we will be doing the champ training and the ice golem. Um, I'm probably after the video just gonna let my ice golem team run. So um, and also that's a pretty accessible team with Artac and whatnot. I mean the gear is the the hard part on that team. So anyway, uh, we have switched to 128 the other day pulling shards, and we were pretty lucky. So let's do that today. As always, let me know how your polls went in the comments below. We'll celebrate or send some empathy no matter what uh, the situation is. I'm so excited to hear about your crazy polls. And I remembered today, so let's do a gem giveaway in the comments below. Put your UM player IDs down there, and we'll get you some gems. 540 gems, just for two seconds worth of effort, you'll be entered into that giveaway. Uh, here we go. So, one tent pull. I'm not using gems or anything. Um, we would be getting extremely lucky. <laughs> Uh, we did get an epic. I thought we were going to get all rares there, which is fine. Rector, I'm not sure I have her plus four yet. And then four sacreds. What kind of shards are you pulling today? I'd love to hear from you guys. Shawnee, she is not good. She is not good in any way. <laughs> I really wanted her to be good, but she is not. Now, this guy, Deerendale. He is one of the best damage dealers, and I think that he is, like, super underrated. I don't see people using him, but I think he looks sweet. Got the dreads going on, and in addition to that, he smacks really hard. So a lot of people should be building Dirindils, especially if you're ri relying on mediocre legendaries as your damage. Uh, Corpse Collector, I did level one up uh, for some possible uses in Cursed City. Not sure if I'll get to that or not. 
but I did level one up and no legendaries and a torture helm. So um, if clan boss is nice to me, then maybe I'll pull a couple more, but honestly, I should just save, okay? And if you're pulling that amount, you can see that's enough to get the first set of fragments, and then I'm going to do a couple other things, and we'll get up to this 3200, okay? Um, I recommend using those champions from those shards that you pulled to level them up for the champion training. It pairs really well together. Uh, as for me, I have tons of food right now from the last champion training. Where are they at? Those are all rare, so those are all food. And then I did a bunch of uncommons as well. And don't forget, if you're going to be doing a ton of leveling up, you can come over here and grab a clan quest. Um, oh, apparently I need to do more spider. Uh, interesting. I'm glad that I clicked on that for the video. Uh, this one, upgrade 100 common, uncommons to rank 3. That's an excellent one to give you a focus for the champion training. Excellent one. I'm going to take a look here and see if there's anything else that I want to grab up in here for these quests. Uh, because it would be nice. We are Fire Knight 200 times, Dragon... Um, I will definitely do this one. We'll, we'll definitely lock that down. Okay, so that'll do it for me. Quick and easy one here today. Uh, I hope everything went well for you. I'm going to go probably set up this Ice Golem run. And uh, this runs a little bit more than a minute. Uh, you can put whoever you want in here. Uh, it's a four-person four team. Or you can run Norog as the lead if you're not survivable enough. So is there somebody? Yeah, we'll we'll level up the Gentoro, and uh, I need to load some energy and whatnot, and then get this started. So hopefully your pulls go well today, and I'll see you later on stream. Until then, I'm gonna go rest. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.